Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of 2x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals 12. And what we're first going to do is we're going to simplify this left hand side. So recall that if we have a to the power of b plus c, this is equal to a to the power of b times a to the power of c. Because remember, when we were multiplying exponents, we would add these two bases. We would add the exponents. Sorry. So we're simply reversing that and changing it back to its original form here. So that's what we're going to do to these two terms. So let's try 3 to the power of 2x minus 2. Well, this would equal 3 to the power of 2x, because remember, 2x is b, times 3 to the power of negative 2. And we're going to add this with, let's do the same thing to this term. So we're going to have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 1. And all of this still equals 12. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this a little bit. 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 ninth. So this can also be 3 to the power of 2x over 9 plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of negative 1. 3 to the power of negative 1 is 1 third. So this is equal to 3 to the power of x over 3. And all of this still equals 12. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to set the variable t equal to 3 over 3 to the power of x. We're just doing this to simplify this a little bit. So 3 to the power of 2x, well, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. Because remember, these two simply multiply. So we're going to convert this into 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 over 9 plus 3 to the power of x over 3, and all of this still equals 12. Now remember, we set t equal to 3 to the power of x. So let's change all the 3 to the power of x's into t's. So this would equal t squared over 9 plus t over 3 equals 12. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this whole thing by 9. So we're going to have these two would cancel out. So we have t squared plus t over 3 times 9 is 3t equals 12 times 9 is 108. So So this would give us t squared plus 3t equals 108. And now we're going to subtract 108 on both sides. So this would give us t squared plus 3t minus 108 equals zero. And now, as you can see, we have a quadratic equation. So why don't we find our values using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, 
all over 2 times a. So in this case, 1 is going to be a, because remember, a, b, and c are all coefficients. 3 is going to be b, and negative 108 is going to be c. Sorry. So we're going to do negative b, so negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 3 squared, which is 9, plus, or sorry, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 108. So negative 108. And we're dividing this by 2 times a, which is simply 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, so now this would equal negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9. Negative 4 times 1 is simply negative 4, and negative 4 times negative 108 is positive 4, 32. And we're still dividing this by 2, and this would equal negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 441 over 2. So now if I write this over here, we have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 441 is going to be 21 and divided by 2. Now this gives us two equations. We have negative 3 plus 21 over 2 and negative 3 minus 21 over 2. So let's solve this one first. Negative 3 plus 21 is 18 over 2, which equals 9. So that's one answer. And negative 3 minus 21 is negative 24 over 2, which equals negative 12. So that's another answer. So now we know that t equals 9 and negative 12. And remember, we set t to equal 3 to the power of x, right? t equals 3 to the power of x. And our values for t are 9 and negative 12. So this gives us two equations. 9 equals 3 to the power of x and negative 12 equals 3 to the power of x. 9 of the equals 3 to the power of x. So 3 to the power of what equals 9? And that is 2. So x equals 2, that's one answer. And we also have negative 12 equals 3 to the power of x. Well, anything, any number to the power of something can never equal negative. So this is wrong. This cannot be true. So our only answer is x equals 2. Now, why don't we plug this into our equation here? This would result in 3 to the power of 2 times 2 minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 1 equals 12. Three to the power, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 2 is 2, so this would be 3 squared plus 3 to the power of 1 equals 12, and this would equal 3 squared is 9 plus 3 to the power of 1 is 3, so we have 9 plus 3 equals 12, and 9 plus 3 is 12, so 12 does in fact equal 12. So because this is right, our solution of x equals 2 is right as well. Yeah.